Greetings. Welcome to EDTV News Channel, the People's Channel. In this report, we have a few stories for talk about. Coming out of the parish of St. James, Portland, and the Supreme Court in downtown Kingston. Stay tuned for the full reports. Blessings to all subscribers and viewers if you're here for the first time. You can support the channel by like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell. So people, we'll start off in the Supreme Court in downtown Kingston, where another accused pleaded guilty to the dropout of Palwell daughter and her mother. Now, people, old time people say, you never say smoke without fire. A lot of people would be wondering why these two accused pleaded guilty the first appearance in court. But I'll tell you the reason why, people. Under the Criminal Justice Administration Act, a person who pleads guilty at the first opportunity may benefit from discounted sentence by up to 50%. And that's the sole reason why these two accused pleaded guilty in less than 24 hours. Now, people, this case is all over. Because come next week, when the alleged mastermind behind this, Leona Bradshaw and the other accused, enter the court, they also will be pleading guilty to people. Because based upon the evidence behind it, they can't escape people. So the easiest way out is to plead guilty and get a 50% discount sentence. Now, in my personal opinion, whether them pleaded guilty or not, them should get the full rod of the court and get the full sentence. This people was a cool and gruesome dropout. When you can play with a 10 month old child and then put gunshot in her and her mother and then burn them bodies, people. There should be no discounted sentence. You understand me, people? They should get the full sentence. Also, the alleged mastermind behind this, people, Leoda Bradshaw, she should get a sentence twice her age. She's now 34 years old. That means the minimum sentence you're supposed to get people is 68 years in prison. That simply means she'll be leaving prison about or close to a hundred year old if she make it out back. People, as a woman to woman, this was cool, Ak. Trust me. She's also a mother. She shares a child with Paul well. You see my people? She know the pain that a mother go through for bring forth a child in this world. Because she also feel the pain. But maybe she never feel no pain because she cold. You know what I'm saying? I have to do this to another Mother, there should be no discounted sentence. They all people should get the full wrath of the court. You know what I'm saying, people? So that's the sole reason why these two accused pleaded guilty in less than 24 hours. Because them no say them all get a discounted sentence of up to 50%. 
the summer people, that's why old time people say, you never see smoke without fire. So we are getting into the latest report. Accused man charged in the dropout and kidnapping of opposition lawmaker Philip Powell's infant daughter and her mother has pleaded guilty. Russian Miller today pleaded guilty to two counts of conspiracy to kidnap, two counts of accessory before the fact of dropout, and two counts of misprison of felony. On Thursday, yesterday, another accused Richard Brown pleaded guilty to two counts of dropout and two counts of kidnapping. They are to be sentenced on November 15 in the Home Circuit Court. Two other persons, a man and the alleged mastermind, Leona Bradshaw, are charged in the case relating to the dropout of 10 months old, Sariah Palwell and her mother, 27-year-old Tashina Patterson. The police had reported that the child and her mother were brutally taken out and their bodies burned and disposed of. The mother and daughter were abducted from their home on Gilmore Drive in St. Andrew on September 9. People, this is cool as you can get it. Believe me. That's why I'm a said people. These people should not get discounted sentence. They should get the full wrath of the court. Now, people, we'll move on. This time in St. James, a place named Salt Spring. Now, this place, people, trust me, is a troubled community. The amount of dropout going to South Spring, people, trust me. We can't count it. We can't use calculator for count it either or add it up. And this time now, you are talk about another triple dropout that took place in Salt Spring. So we'll get into the latest police report. A man was gone down in South Spring, St. James, early this morning. A third dropout in 12 hours, which has left the volatile community on edge. He is Anthony Farbs, otherwise called Plate Up, a gummy, a mason of Flower Hill in the parish. Reports are that Farbs and his son were at home about 1.10 a.m. when armed men first opened the front to their dwellings and opened fire eating both occupants of the house. The assailants then made their escape. Farbs succumbed to his injuries at hospital while his son was admitted. Farbs' dropout comes just 12 hours after a couple was gone down in the community yesterday afternoon. They have been identified as 22-year-old Imani Jarrett, of Flower Hill and 30 year old Odin Simit, a known killer. Reports are that they were shot after they were dragged from a motor car by men armed with rifles and handguns about 1 p.m. When the police arrived, the bodies of both individuals were found a short distance from each other. During the attack, Classes were in session at the South Spring Primary and Infant School, with reports saying that students and teachers cowered in fear under decks and tables after explosion were heard. It is theorized that the target was Simit, who was on a murder charge stemming from an incident that took place in Westmoreland in 2020. He was scheduled to appear in court in November on the matter. Reports as well are that he was a suspect in a murder that occurred in September of this year. So, audience sipping people was a known gunslinger and a killer. And he was the intended target. Now, people, this happened close 
to the infant school. And the reports coming out after school is that kids have to eat themselves under decks when they get and hear the explosion. Also the teachers. And the reports are that most of them wet up themselves to people. Very traumatic. You know what I'm saying? No, people, this is sad. Because these kids were traumatized. You know what I'm saying? And maybe some of them not will recover from this terrible experience. You know what I'm saying? No, people, we are move on. This time to Portland, where a prison SKP now recaptured. So we'll get into the report. Nathan Witter, who escaped from the Tamarind Farm Adult Correctional Center in St. Catherine yesterday, was captured at a house in Port Antonio, Portland, early this morning. The 25-year-old, who was serving a sentence of two years and six months for illegal possession of a firearm and ammunition, was among a group of inmates working on the farm under supervision yesterday morning when he ran off and escaped custody. According to the police, Witter, who is from Orange Hill, Brownstone in St. Anne, was held in a targeted raid at a house on King Street in Port Antonio just after 11 a.m. this morning. The police are carrying out further investigation. So people, him just went home for a shower and get a bite. And then the police them come and pick him up. Well done by these officers. Please leave your comments down below and tell me what you think. One aim, one God, one destiny. Walk good, talk good, live good. Blessings.